what is that? Um, that is uh, Fort Collins Station uh, transmitting the time at uh, 10 megahertz. Um, I know you can get the time on your cell phone, but uh, we're interested in that tone. Listen to that. Um, let me say, turn it back on again. All right, it's that tone that we're interested in. It's the radio station, the carrier on that is exactly 10 megahertz. Um, we can use it to calibrate our radios, actually. If you're using packet radio in any meaningful way, you really got to be on frequency, especially if you're using single sideband. And, you know, if your radio drifts just a few hertz, um, you can be kind of off frequency and you won't be picked up if you're using packet radio. This could potentially go for FL Digi, um, FT8. Uh, I know that's a popular mode. A single sideband is a big deal because that has to be right on. If you're going to use single, I'm sorry, sing, SS, slow scan TV, not single sideband. Slow scan television has to be right on or you won't decode the image because the tones won't be at exactly the right frequency. Um, so what we can do with a lot of radios, and at least with the 7300 here, is we can calibrate our radio to make sure it's absolutely deadly accurate. Um, it, you know, when the dial says 10 megahertz, it is actually hearing uh, a 10 megahertz signal, um, you know, with no shift or anything. So how do we do that? Uh, let's let's calibrate this ICOM 7300. You know, I'm sure the process is going to be different uh, for every other radio. Um, I haven't actually tried any others. Um, this is the 7300. So what I'm going to do is get this out of AM mode. I'm going to find my trusty pointer here. I'm going to put it in the single sideband. And that's going to be upper sideband. Um, and I also want you to come down about 1 kilohertz. Um, so th this is now going to say... 9.999 um, and that's the tone you're interested in so you basically you're hearing that carrier um, you can see how uh, how elegant the sine wave is right here on the on the tone thing and it'll sound like this and it's pretty obnoxious right let me, let me turn that off <laughs> okay so now the radio is set up at least the dial and the mode were set up but we're going to calibrate our radio so when the dial says something you're actually hearing that something at the at the exact frequency you, you were meant to hear it particularly useful on single sideband um, you know on vhf and am modes it's not that critical because you know your radio is going to track that frequency even if you're a little bit off so this is uh, to any correction for single sideband modes um let's uh let's go into the menu for the icon and we go into settings and then i want you to go into function function and then uh, there's i want you to go all the way to the bottom and there's two things one called calibration marker and one called ref adjust um i'm going to want you to turn the calibration marker on and then i want you to go into ref adjust and I want you to listen. Um, I want you to spin the dial and listen here. So I'm going to turn on the, uh, so you can hear the radio. Now you hear some people talking in the background. Ignore them. Um, but I want you to hear is the, the ringing noise. And here it's kind of throbbing. If you, if you, if you guys have ever tuned a guitar, you're going to, you, you already know this one. And I want you to adjust this until the throbbing kind of goes away. Nope, too far. And there's a new tone there, but 29.4, that throbbing completely went away. At least I think it did. Um, I'm going to let you listen for a second. That's out of tune. All right, I don't hear any throbbing there, so I kind of like that. Let me turn the noise off. All right, and at this point, you are calibrated for digital modes. And I want you to go back, and I want you to turn that marker off since we're done. That's just a horrible noise. And our rough adjustment for this radio is 29.4. You'll find that's usually about what it is at the factory, too. So we're cool. I think this radio is calibrated. Um, You'll notice that uh, voices might sound more normal, uh, less Star Wars-y, <laughs> more on tone, at least on single sideband. 
um, you're going to find that uh, slow scan television will work without you having to adjust the dial a little bit. You're going to get capture more images. And any digital mode that uses single sideband um, is going to work better. Um, the tones are going to be more accurate. So if you're at a 1500 you know, offset um, from some frequency, you will actually be hearing, you know, the guy transmitting at 1500 off of some frequency, you know, on CW or something, you're going to hear him and you can really narrow in your filter. But anyways, this is how you calibrate an HF radio. Um, listen for those time stations and uh, set the reference tone and make sure those two tones are absolutely identical. And then your radio is dialed in. Uh, this has uh, been a KM6 LYW quickie. Um, I hope uh, all of you are enjoying your digital modes uh with your radio uh, properly calibrated uh, be sure to like and subscribe and of course uh patreon page is uh, patreon.com slash km6 lyw uh thank you big thank you to my patrons um, i really appreciate appreciate it you guys and uh, i'll talk to you later